Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo and today is March 4th and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update to the Galaxy Tab S8 series. Now this one right here is the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. I'm definitely in love with this thing. I'm using it every single day, especially with being a stay at home dad. This thing is always being used for, you know, either YouTube kids, if it's for Twitch, regular YouTube, ABC mouse, all that good stuff. This thing is, is a lifesaver. Now you're now going to get this very, very large update. Samsung One UI 5.1. There's a lot of stuff going going on and actually after this update is finished we'll take a look at a few of these now 5.1 is familiar to you because 5.1 is what is out of the box with the Galaxy S23 series. So you'll have a few different features that you're able to do on, the, on those brand new devices that you're now able to do here on your tablet. Now this, this spot right here, there's some details that after you update it, it'll actually go away. So we're gonna take a look at this one right here as well. I just wanted to let you know and point it out. All of this up here will stay. So when you go back to take a look at this, this software update information, all this will be there except right here. So the apps below may be updated to the latest version after after the software update, which is going to be Samsung Global Goals, Samsung Kids, Penup, Samsung Internet, Samsung Health, Smart Things, Galaxy Shop, Samsung Flow, Samsung Member, Samsung TV Plus, Calculator, Smart Switch, and Voice Recorder. Now this is very large. Uh, this size is 1,866 megabytes. It'll give you the security patch of February 1st, which I don't know why it's not March 1st. Um, because it is March 4th, but at least we're getting that February 1st patch. I believe the last one we had was from December, uh, and then this one ends in BWB4. And to take a look at where you're able to get this thing updated and to also take a look when this last thing, you know, did have an update and the security patch that it is on currently, you just go inside of the settings, you go to software update, and right here is where you can download and install your new update. But here is that last one. And so like I mentioned from before, some of the details will sit right here. Uh, the last update we did was January 4th and it gave us the December security patch. So yeah, this last security patch we had uh, was all the way back from December. And here we are now finally gonna get this brand new one. That's gonna give us all the way up until February 1st security patch. So right now I'm just going to update this tablet, get it installed. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna read through the whole list, see what all is brand new. And then we're gonna take a look at some of these brand new features. But it's also around this time in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you send that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So now that the software update is done and complete, how about we head right back inside of that long list of every single thing brand new and then we'll take a look at some of those newer features so you can see exactly what has changed so again to take a look at everything that's new you'd be able to go on the very top inside of your settings you're going to scroll all the way down we're going to take a look at the software update and then you just go right here where it says last update and as i mentioned from before there was a small area that would actually be gone and so you can see that it is now gone it's just talking about some of these samsung applications that are being updated you noticed that there was one of them really quick that that was being updated i believe it was samsung kids uh, so that one was in the background kind of being updated you know the moment the phone or the, the tablet turned on now if you want to take a look at some of those other samsung applications that might need to be updated after this update you just want to go right back inside of your galaxy store and then you just want to take a look let's see you go to the menu you're going to head over to updates uh, and then you're going to see maybe a few of them here but look like there's a couple that was already happening the moment this thing turned on. So I'm going to go through, I'm just going to update these ones as well. So now going through the full entire list for camera and gallery, you can quickly change the color tone for selfies. Now that used to be inside of the camera settings itself. So all we're going to do now is just head right back inside the camera. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I think if you just put this one to your front facing camera, you're going to tap on effects. And then when you go right here, you can see filters, you can see face, and then you also have color tone. So you have natural, and bright. Now, I don't know how you know how many people would actually take photos with their tablet, but at least it's there. Uh, so color tone for selfies. Then you have a more powerful search. Again, this is inside the gallery. So you can now search your gallery for more than one person or subject at the same time. You can even search for people without tagging their names just by tapping their faces. 
You also have enhanced image remastering. So remastering uh, does more to make your pictures look great by removing shadows and reflections. You can also remaster GIFs for a better resolution and clarity. Now to show an example of remastering, if we go inside of the gallery, you just want to find an image. On the very top right hand side, you go to those three dots and you go to remaster picture. Now, all you're gonna see is a little line and it shows you the before and the after. So this has been a little bit better refined, showing you exactly what it's going to do. So again, this is what it looked like after. This is what it was from before. You wanna look at everything, you know, uh, backgrounds, the face, all that good stuff. So I'd be able to share this immediately. So basically it's gonna share this after if I wanted to send as a text or, you know, Facebook, whatever. Um, or you can hit on this little save button right now and it's going to save it as this remastered or these three little dots is save as copy. So this way you can have both images. So you can have a copy of the before, a copy of the after. You don't know which one is the best. Now let's say that you hit on save. What you're gonna notice is that in your gallery, it's gonna say the word remastered. So you know that you've already edited this one. It's already been remastered. If you wanted to, you can actually revert it back to the original, uh, just like that, very simple. Next up is gonna be create a shared family album. So it's easier than ever to share pictures with your family. Gallery will recommend pictures to add to your shared family album by recognizing the faces of family members you select. You have five gigabytes of storage for each family member up to six, so that's amazing. The revamped info display. So when you swipe up, when you're looking at a picture inside of your gallery, you're able to see uh, when and where the picture was taken, which device took the picture, where the picture is stored, and more. And it's it's pretty nice. So you know, if we go back inside of the gallery here, and let's say that we just take a look at, scroll down, let's go back to this picture right here. So when we go to this one right here and you swipe up, you're gonna see a bunch of details. So you can see how you know it was being taken with with the with like the f-stop, how big the size is, uh, your ISO, all that good stuff. Where it's stored in this device itself, and then when you took it, the date and the time. You can even edit it. So if you wanted to add a title to this, you can add it as a title. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, some people knew and some people didn't know that you're actually able to swipe up on any picture and image uh, or video and you can get a bunch of really cool details. When it comes down to multitasking, easily minimize or switch to full screen. You can now minimize or maximize an app window without going to the options menu. Just drag one of the corners. Now, what they're talking about here is, let's say that we go inside of YouTube. Now, this part right here, where if I swipe this thing down, like this isn't new. Uh, and yes, you are able to go through and you can make it enlarged. But what would happen is if you tried to go all the way to the top, it would actually be smaller. Like it wouldn't snap back to the full frame. So this is new right here on 5.1. Beforehand, it would actually be stuck probably around this size. You can maybe get it a little bit bigger, but again, you're gonna be in this little screen, not really that full framed effect that you would have to, you know, beforehand have to go another route. So yeah, they made that much easier. Access your most used apps in split screen. So when you start a split screen view, the apps you use most often will show below your recently used apps to help you find the apps you need faster. So again, let's say we go back inside of YouTube. Let's say I swipe up with two fingers. Now, uh, the most used apps would be right here. Here's the recent app. So these are the ones that I have currently open because if I swipe up, you see that I have these three open. Now, if there was applications that I used all the time, it would actually be right here. So my most used ones would show up. So maybe YouTube would actually be one of those that would show up in this option here because we do use YouTube a lot. So that's also pretty cool that you're able to do. So that's brand new for Samsung One UI 5.1 because uh, uh, beforehand that entire category was actually gone. Next up is the improved multitasking index. In split screen view, you can now drag the divider in the center of the screen to resize both windows. You can also snap a window to one of the corners to make it fill a quarter of the screen. So anybody who uses Dex, you do have one more available feature. Now inside of modes and routines, you can change wallpapers based on your mode. Set a different wallpaper based on your current activity. Choose one wallpaper for work, one for exercising, and more. And there's also more actions for routines. So new actions let you control quick share and touch sensitivity or change your font style. So what they're talking about here is when you, when you scroll down, you wanna take a look at these buttons here to see if you see modes. Now, if you don't see mode, you just want to go to those three dots, go to edit buttons, and up here, there's actually more pages that you can actually bring down. Also, too, you can change the order of all of these, so there's a lot of customizations you can do. But because modes is already there, uh, what will happen is when you press and hold, 
it's going to show you all these different modes. So if you actually go to work, uh, you can actually set this one and you can have it set to, you know, connecting to a Wi-Fi or go into a location. When you're actually at a location, it'll switch into work mode. And within here is where if you scroll down, you can see your options for wallpapers. So I'm just not going to do that currently right now because with me sitting at home, it'll show my address, things like that. So um, all you have to do is go inside and you can choose a wallpaper for any of those modes. So if you go to the gym, if you go to work, if you come home, you can have a different wallpaper for all three uh, and it'll change automatically for you. For weather, you have quick access to useful information. You can check severe weather alerts, daily weather summaries, sunrise, sunset time at the top of the weather app. The temperature graph now uses colors to show how the temperature changes through the day. You also have a hourly precipitation graph. An hourly graph, uh, well, that's kind of self-explanatory. You also have summary on weather widget. So with inside of the weather widget, there's a brief summary of the current weather condition. It'll now appear on the weather widget uh, to let you know if it's sunny, cloudy, raining, or snowing. So they're basically talking about this right here. So if you want to, you can go in and you can press and hold and you can edit it, change it, make it bigger, make it smaller. Uh, you can actually press and hold. We go inside of widgets. Uh, when you go down over inside of weather, what you're able to do then is, is uh, you know, switch which one you would like to use. You know, there's multiple options and then you're going to have that brief summary. Next up is going to be Samsung Internet. So you can continue browsing on other device. So if you're browsing on the web on your Galaxy phone or tablet and later open the Internet app on another Galaxy phone signed into the same Samsung account, a button will appear that lets you open the last web page you were viewing on the other device. And you also have an improved search. So your searches uh, can now include the names of bookmark folders, tab groups, improved search logic. Some of the additional things, so you could check the battery level of your device. So the new battery widget lets you check the battery levels of your devices right from the home screen. You can see how much battery life is left in your tablet, Galaxy Buds, S Pen, and other supported devices. So this is very cool. All you have to do is press and hold. You go inside of widgets. Right there is battery. So this wasn't there before. And you have two options. You have one that's just literally, you know, literally icons. Another one that has everything written out. So let's say that we go into this little icon one right here. When you, when you place it down, uh, oh, and one little pop-up here, uh, only Galaxy Buds 2 and Buds 2 Pros and newer models can show their charging status in the widget. So what you're able to do here is you'd be able to make this one bigger if you want to. It'll actually add in an additional circle. So if you don't have too many things connected, uh, then you, you, know, you don't have to choose all of them. The other thing that you're also able to do is when you press and hold, um, for the first time here, what you're going to see is little settings pop up. So you can create this as a stack because remember you can stack widgets, you can remove it. And then here is your settings. So with this one, you can even put and change the order. So, you know, tablet is default galaxy buds, S pen and other devices. You can reorder them if you would like to. Now to show a better example of the battery widget, I am using it right here on the galaxy S 23 ultra. You can see that I have my uh, phone battery. I got my watch battery right there. Now, if I bring in the galaxy buds to pros, uh, what's going to happen is these other two are going to fill in because it's letting me know what my battery is for the buds themselves and also for the case. So this way, you know, right off the bat, you know, where you're sitting with all of your different accessories that you have all plugged in. So then the very last circle that would be there if I expanded this more would be the S Pen. Uh, but again, I don't really need to know my S Pen battery life just because it never dies. I mean, it's always going back into the phone uh, within that given amount of time. So because I don't really have a lot connected to this tablet currently in terms of accessories, I'm going to delete it because I can already see my battery level on the very top. So now all we're going to do is we're going to head back inside settings. Uh, so we have use up to three emojis in AR emoji camera. So take fun pictures and videos with your friends in mask mode. Uh, you can assign different emojis to each person's face. So beforehand, when you went inside of AR emoji with your camera, you put on your facial, you know, on the uh, front facing camera, the selfie camera, and you had two people, you can have, you know, cool emojis covering our faces. Now you can do that with three people instead of two. Uh, settings suggestions. So while signed into your Samsung account, suggestions will appear on the top, uh, which is normally right over here, but maybe because we're in here, it doesn't show it. But when you actually go right inside of your settings, there's going to be a spot right here that'll give you uh, suggestions of what you should do with inside of your settings, which is pretty cool. Spotify suggestions, the Spotify suggestions widget now recommends Spotify tracks and playlists based on your current activity. Get the perfect tunes for driving, exercising, and more. To get suggestions, you need to sign into a Spotify account uh, in the latest version of the Spotify app. 
And right here, choose where to save screenshots and screen recordings. You can now change the folder of screenshots and recordings of where they are saved. So now I don't really know for a fact why you would want to change it. I mean, to be completely honest, I think where they go is, is already a good spot. Uh, but all you'd have to do is go inside of your advanced settings. And then you want to go inside of the advanced settings. You want to go to screenshots and screen recorder. Boom, right here. You can change the format of what they are if you want a PNG uh, or, or JPEG. And then internal storage. So you can, like right now, it just goes inside of my internal storage, DCIM, and then screenshots. There's a folder right there perfectly named for it where it goes. And then for your screen recordings, same thing. Internal storage, DCIM, screen recordings. So if you wanted to change one of them, you can actually tap on it. You could actually move on back and you can put it somewhere else if you wanted to. So if you wanted all of your stuff to go right inside of your camera, uh, that is something that you can do. You just hit done and then that's where all your screen recordings go. So if you kind of want to, you know, put everything together in one area, you, you can. Uh, you can even put it in a different spot. So if you want it to be inside of your normal internal storage, maybe you create a new, you know, uh, folder that's going to be maybe recordings or screen recordings and then you can put it in here so it's not all going to be with inside of DCIM uh, and then all these folders. So right now it's going to be right here, screen recordings. So, you know, if everything is already looking good, you can really just kind of, you know, go backwards a few times, get out of it so you don't have to make any changes. Uh, and so there we go. It's still going to be in the exact same spot, but now you can and have the ability to change uh, where your screenshots and screen recordings go. So this basically is every single thing that was on this update. I pretty much showed all of them as well, uh, especially the ones that actually mattered. So last update, we got the February 1st security patch. This was the last update right here. We went through every single thing, showed every single thing. So if you own a Galaxy Tab S8 device, you might want to take a look to see if you got this update. Now, you just have to remember some people already got it. Some people got it today and some people will get it very soon. It's just a rolling update. Just depends on where you're located uh, throughout the world. And also too, if it's Wi-Fi or if it's connected. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.